Welcome to our lesson on using special triangles to find the exact values of sine, cos and tan between this range here, 0, 30 and 45. So to do this, we're going to use a equilateral triangle. And we're going to use an equilateral triangle because we have a 60 degree angle here. And when we bisect this angle at the top, we create a 30 degree angle and a 90 degree angle. And we need to remember how to work out the sine and cosine of an angle. Well, the sine of an angle, if we add this angle here, we call it theta. This is the opposite, and this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. Remember that the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So the sine of an angle, theta, is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side. And the cosine of the same angle, theta, is now the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So I'm going to sketch this triangle out again, because I want to work out with two other lengths. Well, we know this length is two, because it's given in the question. And at 90 degree angle, we have bisected the angle, so we've also bisected the base, which makes, it, which makes this half of two, which is one. And because here's the right angle, we can use Pythagoras' theorem, where we have 2 squared minus 1 squared, square rooted, and the square root of 4 minus 1 is 3. So the length here is 3. And now we can use these three lengths and the three angles, where we have 60 and 30, to find exact solutions to each of these four questions. So the sine of 60, well, the sine is the opposite of the hypotenuse. And because we're looking at the 60 degree angle, we're looking at this angle here. So the opposite side is root 3. And the hypotenuse side is this length here, which is opposite the right angle. So this is root 3 over 2. And we can work out the cosine of angle 30. Now we have this angle, which is theta, and it is the adjacent, which is root 3, again over the hypotenuse, which is still 2. So the cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. And we'll leave these two solutions in this form as root 3 to above thirds. So if we were to write them in any other form, it wouldn't be exact. Do you want to try and work out the sine of 30 and the cosine of 60? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So the sine of 30, well, we're using this angle. So this is the opposite, which is 1. And again, the hypotenuse is still opposite the right angle, which is 2. So the sine of 30 is 1 half. And for D, the cosine of 60, well, now we're using this angle. So the adjacent is 1 again, and the hypotenuse is still 2, so the cos of 60 is also 1 half. Okay, let's move on to a different triangle. So now we're going to use right angle triangle. So we're going to begin by working out this length here. And we're going to do this using Pythagoras' theorem where the area of the square on the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle, is the sum of the area of the squares on the other two sides. So 1 squared plus 1 squared. And because this gives the area of the square on the hypotenuse, we're going to square root it to work out the length, which is the square root of 2. And now we know all three sides, we can begin to work out these questions here. So we begin with the sine of 45, which is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Well, I can use even this angle or this angle, because they're both 45 degrees. I'm going to choose to use this angle. So the opposite is this length, which is 1, over the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle, so it's root 2. Now this would be a perfectly valid solution. However, I'm going to rationalize this denominator. 
If you go to mrmathematics.com, you can see how to rationalize denominators. So I'm going to do this by multiplying both numerator and denominator by root 2, which is root 2 over 2. So this is the exact solution to the sine of 45 with a rational denominator. And for question B, the tan of 45, when this is the opposite divided by the adjacent, again I will use this angle, the opposite is 1, and the adjacent is also 1, and 1 divided by 1 is 1. And finally for question C, the cosine of 45, again I'll use this angle, where this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. And you can see in this solution is the same as question A. So we have root 2 over 2. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.